get you to turn to page 43. And we're starting out with a pretty standard kind of titration question. The example, this is page 43. The example tells me that I have a 10 mil aliquot. So an aliquot is just a measured volume of potassium hydroxide, and it's approximately one mole per litre. All right, it has been added to a 100 mil volumetric flask. So this has been diluted. To 100 mils. So if we, let's think about the dilution factor. How much has it been diluted by? Yeah, by 10. And the way we, we work it out is we've got our volume, final volume, divided by our original volume. So that way, if you do it this way, it doesn't matter how complicated the dilution factor is, you're going to be able to figure it out. So in a titration, um, 0.105 mole per litre HCl. I'm just going to write that, that's um, HCl. And this is obviously the concentration, isn't it? I can tell by the units that this is the concentration that I've been given. And it's used to standardize this sodium hydroxide, uh, sorry, potassium hydroxide solution. On average, 21.10 mils of the HCl is needed. So that's a volume. And it was 21.10 mils. But I have to change that to litres. And it was needed to neutralise a 25 mil aliquot of potassium hydroxide. Determine the concentration of the potassium hydroxide. When we're doing titration calculations, we must start with the thing that we have two pieces of information for. So we have to start by determining the moles of the hydrochloric acid. We're using uh, C equals N on V or N equals CV for these because these are all in solution. So my moles of hydrochloric acid equal my concentration multiplied by the volume. Zero point zero zero two two one six moles. Then I need to look at the balanced chemical equation. see that the acid and the base are in a one-to-one -one ratio. And so therefore, I know the moles of potassium hydroxide is equal to the moles of the hydrochloric acid, which is this. Now I have the moles in 25 mils. I know how many moles there were in the 25 mils. And to work out the concentration of my potassium hydroxide, it's the moles, 0.002216, divided by the volume, which is the volume of potassium hydroxide, 0.02500. 
0.0866 moles per litre. And that makes sense because we were told that it was approximately one mole per litre up here before we diluted it. So if I wanted to find out the accurate original concentration, I would multiply this by 10, the dilution factor. sense that we're back now and, and uh, we can look at that and say well 0.866 is pretty close to 0.1 and that's what we that uh, we would expect it to be. Ah and that's even part five determine the concentration of the original sample. So, yeah, we've, uh, we've gone through all parts of that example question that is on page 43 and 44. Does anyone have any questions? This is why uh, I find the setting out with the brackets and saying what, you're, what it is helps you follow through your own working out and makes sure that you put the correct volumes in because that's again a common mistake is that you just get yourself a little bit lost in your own calculation and you use the wrong one. But if you label everything as you go along then you're much less likely to make those errors. Okay.